One of the things that's under attack more now than I've ever seen before is the deity of Christ. Many people who attend church every Sunday do not really know who Jesus really is. He's not the Jesus of our culture or the Jesus of our denomination. He's the Jesus of the Bible. And Jesus is none other than God himself. And one of the schemes and the attacks of the enemy is to try to undermine the deity of Jesus. I just want to give you some verses this week from the Gospel of John, some that you've heard probably all your life, but it's talking about Jesus. Now listen to these verses and may they sink deep into your ears, okay? John chapter 1, beginning in verse number 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. That's John 1, 1 through 3. You know what that's telling us? That's telling us that Jesus was the God of the Old Testament. And every time in the Old Testament when you read, and it says, And the Lord said, and the Lord said, thousands of times that word that created everything in the beginning and that word that spoke to the prophets and the patriarchs that word came into this world talking about Jesus all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made that connects the God of the Old Testament with Jesus Let's go a little farther. Look in John 1.10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. That's one of my favorite verses because it says that Jesus created the world, and yet he came into the world that he created. And he came to his own people, Israel, and most of the nation did not know who he was. Most of the people that acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah was the common people. But the religious establishment represented Israel, and they did not know their Messiah when he came. But that verse is telling you about his deity. He created everything. Jesus is the creator of Genesis 1. Let's go a little farther. Look in John 1, 14. And the Word was made flesh, wow, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, 14. So the God of the Old Testament is the eternal spirit. In Jesus, God took on flesh. When Jesus walked the hills of Galilee, he was God in the form of a man. It's incredible, folks, and it is a mystery but it's something that you need to get deep within your spirit and let it sink deep within. Don't just let Jesus be a religious figure or a historical person. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Look in John 1.18. No man has seen God at any time. See there? The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He hath declared Him. So no one ever could see God. But when Jesus walked this earth, God took on a form. The form of a man. There's something mysterious about the way that we are created. Two eyes, two ears, nose, mouth, arms, feet, hands. You ever ever wondered about that? God created us that way. And then he came in the world to represent us. And they saw God when they saw Jesus. Look what Jesus said in John 8, 58. Jesus saith unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. John 8, 58. By the way, anytime Jesus says verily, verily, that's amen, amen in the Hebrew language, you need to pay close attention because he's the only one that could ever start his sentences by saying that twice, okay? Before Abraham, he predated Abraham because he is the eternal God. But keep in mind, to the Jews that he was talking to, they believed Abraham was the father of the Jewish people. 
In a sense, he was, but Jesus predated Abraham. Jesus is the one that called Abraham from the land of Ur of the Chaldees. Look in John 10, verse 30. Look what Jesus said in Jerusalem one day. He says, I and my Father are one. Now listen carefully to what I want to tell you. There's only one God. Hear me clear. There's only one God. There's a triune Godhead. Jesus was the second part of one. There's not three gods. There's just one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But when Jesus walked this earth, in essence, He was the Father in human flesh. And then let's close with that beautiful passage in John 3.16, where it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent Jesus into the world and yet Jesus was God. It's a strange dichotomy, and our minds cannot understand that. But if we believe in Jesus, that He is the Son of God, we will not perish, and we have everlasting life. Isn't that beautiful? And I pray today that you will receive Christ into your heart and life. He's so real, and He wants to give you His life so you can have His joy, His peace, go to heaven when you die, but He gives us purpose for this life. And if you've never embraced Jesus, would you do it today? I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking even about church. I'm talking about you inviting Jesus into your heart today. I pray that you do that. I sure do love you. And may these words find an echo in your heart.